Later, Vault Hunter! Alive. Welcome to my humble shop. Good luck.
time ago, my dad bought me a dog. His way of apologizing for mom's temper. Loved that dog. Took her to school, carried her on my shoulders, held her close after mom was done yelling and growling and punching. Used to fall asleep with her in my arms. One day, my dog got bit by a frenzy crutch hiding in the tall grass. Eyes went red, lips went blue. Acted normal otherwise, though. I thought maybe she was immune. Maybe I caught a break. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
among us, equipping us for the coming battle, our soldiers will take heart. Younger members see themselves as warriors now they have weapons once wielded by a vault hunter. They've taken it upon themselves to attack a local cluster of scavs. Could you check their progress? Make sure they're safe. I've updated your echo with their location. Press that button! Voila! Helping! Something. 
Vault Hunter, your continued aid is much appreciated. The pot triplets, our most headstrong members, Armed by the weapons you brought us, are locked in a complex dispute. Perhaps a respected vault hunter can resolve it. I'm uploading their location to your Echo. Please bring a healing wave of calm to the situation. I don't even know what we're arguing about, but I'm definitely going to shoot stuff. Vault Hunter, be guided by your instinct as you choose whose side to take in this most troubling dispute. Oh, don't choose me. Cheetah! Huh? Yeah, shoot me time! Less healing than I'd hoped for. Still, thank you. Recruit, return to base and have a think about what just happened here and the lessons you can draw from it.
<laughs> you can always trust the gun at your side. Later, Vault Hunter. I got them, you need them. You buy from Nina, yes? Nina, take care when of you. When you think murder, take Marcus Munitions. Ah! Oh, the things they got over there look bang tidy. Here to help, if the price is right. That night, Mom did her usual thing. She hurled a glass at me. I tried to catch it. I'd gotten good at catching whatever she tossed. But it bounced off my hand and fell on the dog. Not hard enough to hurt it, but its eyes went even redder. Lips even bluer. Foam dripped from its jowls and it lunged at me. Sunk its teeth into my neck. Over my own screams, I could hear Dad whimpering. The dog snarling. And my mom, laughing. After Dad patched me up, I grabbed a shovel and bashed the dog's brains out. Good to meet you. The privilege is all mine. Spring says you're trying to get your mitts on some military AI. Well, it's your lucky day. You can half inch one from the Drakensberg. I hear the bosun and the skipper who run that place are well-known collectors of rare and nifty intelligences of the artificial persuasion. Trouble is, it's not like you can just walk right up to the place and ask to have an AI. I'm programmed to be foolishly optimistic in situations such as these, so I totally can! Cocky, eh? Fair enough. They're a tricky pair, but maybe they'll let you on board right off the bat. I'm updating your echo with the most direct route there. Truth is, I've had my eye on that wreck for a while, and you going in for a bit of a look-see would let me do a bit of shopping myself. Drakensberg's a juicy wreck, all right. Ex-style frigate, don't you know? But it's stuffed with tech I could half-inch pinch. The bosun and skipper have been good at keeping me out. But now you're here, that's about to change.
Warship and all that crashed before the crackling, that's what they say. Now a bunch of ripe smelling scabs live there, led by the bosun and his friend, what's called the skipper. Not that anyone knows what she looks like, which makes your head scratch. Anyway, find a way inside and don't be shy to say hello to the locals on the way. quality health and shields. Come back with diamonds. Let me know if anything catches your eye.
trouble. How about you leave now and the bosun won't tear you to pieces? What do you say? Ha! Called it, didn't I? I was totally wrong, which is super normal. Do you have an alternate plan to reach the Dragonsburg? Glad you asked. The bridge has a manual override nearby. I'm uploading its location to your Echo. Is that the squealy little thief Pickle Eye here? If you're with him, I've got half a mind to let you over here so I can pull your legs off and make you go jogging. Listen, you and the kids should stay away. That was your one warning. Thing from the reservoirs into the lava. We'll create our own path by cooling it off. This is gonna be ace! I'm warning you, kid. You and your pet vault hunter try any funny business and I'll wear your eyeballs as earrings. station was shut down after the crackling. Explains why there weren't no methane in the reservoirs. We need to reactivate the pumping station. That'll do the job. Uh, and by we, I mean you. You won't find better merchandise anywhere else. I made sure of that.
so. There should be an activation console somewhere there. Mate, keep it up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
the flow ain't getting through. Get to the methane treatment plant and transfer it. Try to see what the deal is.
My best men will gladly meet you there, Vault Hunter, to boil you in the juices of their skill. You're creepy, mister. I thought the last ones we killed were your best men. No, we've got more. Oh, right.
Sarpedon's own ship, you know. Before she got promoted, I mean. They say it went down before the crackling happened. Imagine that. <whistles> Crash! Bang! Oh, would have been something to see. You have that point, sir? John, I want an update on the Helios situation. Sir, I've got my best people working on a way to retake the station. That's the Hyperion CEO? Is he as much of a bottle and glass arse as I hear? Who the hell is that? That is the ten-year-old boy we hired to help us. You're fired, John. Don't die before you pay! Let me know if anything catches your eye. Always happy to do business. <laughs> Warning, entering vacuum.
missile after all my polite warnings. Prepare to die Dancing. horribly. You buy from Nina, yes? Pen in pain? Bosun's pretty much holding me prisoner and making me do things for his entertainment, but you're here and you look like the rescuing type. They're a flipping vault hunter, so they're more the ass-kicking type. Kind of the same thing in my book. Uh, sorry. I'm really here to find a military AI. Perfect. I know exactly where you can get an excellent military AI. Just come find me. First, I'll have to show you how to shut down the Bosun's barrier. Hmm, reckon she's onto something. Um, Yar? Great. I'll try to help along the way where possible, but I can't let the bosun know we're working together. So, sorry in advance for anything I have to do. I'll be in touch when you get to the engine room.
tough. Take that, kid. It's not yours. What? Stop him, my fluffy koalinid! The tiny thieving rat! Crush him! Burn him! Calm down, dear. I'm doing my best. Actually, I'm not. This is fun. Don't have too much fun. <laughs> actually has a combat AI? These pirate dick bags just sound nuts. Get it? Dick bags? Nuts? <laughs> Word is, before the bosun went native, he was some kind of AI tech whiz. Not that you'd think it now, he's gone all mum and dad mad. But what do you care? Didn't you just get fired? 
And when I march up to Helios with an army of badass robots, I'll be unfired so quickly it'll make Tassiter's pedo mustache spin off his big gross ugly face. Just get the AI core. Uh, okay. force field blocking your route to, well, me, by jettisoning the main engines. Removing them will really mess up several of the Drakensberg's key systems. I'll quietly talk you through things and update your echo where appropriate, but the bosun's going to throw a lot of his men at you. Sadly, my new programming doesn't include a suitably macho response to your statement. First, head to the engine control panel and set the ship's engines to maximum output. It's all under control. Great. Kid, can you find a way to the flow regulator if you know what that is? Of course I know. Give me a sec. There's a yellow button next to the red pipe. Push it. There you go. You know what to do, Vault Hunter.
Warning, ship's engine output at critical level, maggots. I'll pull your brain out of your ears and dance on your skull with shoes made of acid! And how are you going to put those shoes on? Honestly, you just blurt out threats without thinking. Good. Initiate the engine jettison sequence. Vault Hunter. I've got fresh loot to sort. Head back to the core system room. We'll take care of the bosun's force field when you get there. The engine shafts your fastest route.
Get to the command room now. Now what, Vault Hunter? I want you to reach me! I want you to have my boot! My real one! Not made of acid because I realize now that would be unrealistic! My boot crushing your mangy body to be the last thing you feel! Better? Citizens of Elpis, you must understand. This measure is necessary.
in one kid you're sharp the bosun aka keith used to be an ai tech working for dahl he made me into this after he uh wasn't exactly a hit with the ladies greetings pretty lady where's that nifty military ai core you promised you're looking at it i used to be military grade ran this ship when it meant something until the bosun reprogrammed me to be his companion if you want to plug me into something more interesting than this dead ship, I'm all yours. Too many terrible memories here. What? The hot chick's actually an ex-military AI reprogrammed to be some geek's fake girlfriend? <laughs> Sold. Grab the lovely lady and get going. You've got some friggin' robots to build. I'm ready. Yank me. Part. We'll echo the Vault Hunter. Bad news is the scabs living there do not like us. Hey, that's awesome. Apart from the you being shot at part, of course. Great work. Uh, thanks. We'll be in touch once we dealt with these guys. It's gonna be harder than it sounds. Hello, this thing working? Vault Hunter, you gotta get that factory's production line running again. I know the factory he's talking about. I can help you navigate it. First, you'll need to catch a train. Looks like an old Drakensberg data device. That's well juicy. Not that I'm monitoring your activities or nothing. Find a console to plug it into. Maybe it'll tell us something interesting. <laughs> Looks like someone snuck a secret room into the Drakensberg and it's marked on this map. Wonder if anyone else found it? Uploading the coordinates to your echo.
Identification, please. Uh, a fellow robot? Captain Zarpadon, voice identification failed. Zarpadon, eh? She used to command the Drakensberg back in the day. If you can find some recordings of her voice, I reckon we could jimmy the lock, so to speak. to know attending Private Harding's birthday celebration will not be mandatory, though there will be cake. Very nice chocolate cake. That is all. Drakensberg's instruments are picking up infrequent energy pulses, which appear to emanate from inside Elpis. Our best men are examining the readings, though until further You're notice, really I want all hands off. to attend weekly medical checkups. That's an order. Our new mascot, Zarpadon, would naturally be a wonderful act of kindness. It's also against regs. Please choose another. That is all. Real. Get back to that stubborn door. I'll work on a bit of sound magic. Zarpadon, captain of the Drakensberg. Welcome, Captain Zarpadon. Ha! I've still got it! Zarpadon's personal log. It's going to be hard to say goodbye to the Drakensberg and her crew. But a promotion's a promotion. Even if it is, thankfully, only for a year. I'm looking forward to taking the reins of the local doll fleet, but I'm unsure if Captain Rankus is truly ready to command this ship. I've moved most of my belongings to my new command carrier, 
but my private armory is going to have to wait until I'm properly settled in. General Higgins assures me my extra pay will cover Britannia's new medical treatments. I miss her terribly. But when this tour is over, I'll be home for good. Finally. Nice work! When you're ready, come back to me and drop off those echoes. I'll bet they're worth a fortune to the right buyer. You keep whatever else you find in there. I'm sorted. this out of the way. Yes, most of my merchandise was ripped from the hands of dead adventurers. Tell your friends, Marcus Munition. <laughs> the gun at your side. I'll always buy guns you don't need. Hello, I keep you breathing, eh? Well, this could be your lucky day. I reckon we're about to hit the big time. I've got me mitts on an echo what says there's a treasure map in Outlands Canyon. Could be nothing, but I'm a dreamer, me. Grab that shovel, head over there, and see if you can dig up that map. Ace! I'm sending some coordinates to your echo. Head out, and I'll give you a bit of a chin wag to fill you in. Whoa, this is gonna be lovely jubbly.
yeah, see that? Giant laser trying to smash the moon to pieces? I'll leave that thought there. across all of Elpis. However, they have also attracted the attention of a local gang who hope to spread pieces of you all over Elpis. Their arrival is imminent. Please protect the stockpile. And yourself, of course. Beautiful Clotty Bird! Attention, 
trust the gun at your side. Tear the bad guys a new one, huh? Out of the way. John Truly, you are one of us, my friend. A provider, a giver, a messenger of hope, ready to stand shoulder to shoulder with the People's Liberation Army and say no more. With these guns, we shall forge a fearsome weapon that will shake the old order to its core. We wage a war against meaninglessness, and we fight it with... Art! Real art that makes a statement more potent than a million bullets and far less blood. That People's Liberation Army really did it this time. I don't get it. Well, it's a metaphor. You know what a metaphor is, right? Is it a skag? I hear there is a position. 